hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you yet another new toast alert notification library inside react chess which is called as uh, notif notif is also a very pretty good toast notification library where you can send out notifications alert messages just go to google and type here notyf this is the library that we will be using here so it's a minimalistic javascript library for showing notifications so it has its own basic library here this is the developer who made this library so the tagline is simply uh, a, minimalistic, a minimalistic javascript library for toast notifications it is completely responsive it will look very good on mobile phones tablet devices and pc so this is a simple if you fire this you can show at various locations at the center position at the left position and you can even show at the top as well like this you can now see these are the success error messages you can also see like this and you can change the text this is a success message so now you can see that you can even change the duration so how much duration it expects so you can pass here 1000 milliseconds so it will only there for one second on the screen you can change to 5000 milliseconds so it will be there for 5 seconds so you can even change the position at the center position you can change to right position left position any position you can put here at the bottom as well like this so this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis so we can even show here basically also show the error messages which will be there inside red background color you will now see any customization you can have so inside form validation it's very much useful whenever you need to show these error messages to the user if they have put the field wrong you can show these error messages right here at any position of time depending upon your application so we will be specifically looking at how to include it inside your react.js application it is also valid for angular as well and Vue.js as well you can include this inside react.js angular and Vue. so you can even say this is a if you put here dismissible then you will also see a cross button also here basically with the help of this cross button you will be able to close this notification and with ripple effect you will now see there is a ripple effect out there it will be there so now we will be looking at guys how to use this library it is very simple there is a npmjs module which is present here so just type here notif and uh, this is a very first link which appears and this is the library you can see very popular library 19,688 weekly downloads are there on npm page here it has got a lot nice documentation all the options are given to you and basically you can also use it on the browser side as well they also provide you a cdn by which you can also use it in the browser side so let me first of all show you how to install this so this is a simple command which is npm i notif notyf so for this guys i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website coding section.com so this is a blog post i have written so if you want to get all the source code go to the description of this live stream and i will also give this inside the live chat so basically you can go to the blog post so let's start building this uh, notification guys so basically after you install this it's become very much easy inside your functional component you will see app is there if you refresh your application nothing will be present here app will be shown here so now to show a simple alert message guys you will have a simple button here so here you will have a simple button a basic or you may say that success uh, toast so basically when you hit this button we will bind a on click so we will be showing a success toast me uh, method we will call this method this will be an arrow function so basically guys first of all we need to import this library for importing it we need to write a very first line on the very top here which we need to import this library so import and here we need to import notyf this is the library which will be coming from notyf and also we need to import its cdn file as well so inside single quotes we will write here notyf inside this we have the file which is notyf 
dot main dot css this is the css file which is required for all the styling that you see so inside that guys first of all we will initialize it so we will simply declare a variable which will be notify and it will be equal to the new constructor which is uh, notify that's it so basically inside this constructor you can also pass some options but we will be looking at these options later on but here in order to uh, show a basic alert message there is a method out there in order to show it we have success we have error now to show a success method you will say this is a success alert message so basically if you just execute this if i click this button you will now see this is your success alert message so basically the nice thing about it is that you can even control the positioning you can control the the delay effect here so it is appearing in right at the bottom here but we can even change the position so let's suppose i need to change the position here what we can say is that we can have a different button here this time and this time we will say error toast this will be in a uh, red background color so we will be initializing on click so when we click this button we need to show this error message so we will say error toast so here we will make another method which is error toast so this time we will be creating another reference of that a uh, toaster sorry so this will be equal to new reference here to sorry notify and here guys it expect some options basically here you can pass some options so this is equal to first of all the option will be position so here you can place your notification or alert message so this is an object basically the first of all the x coordinate so this expect three arguments here either you can be placed at center you we'll place it in the center y coordinate it also expect three options bottom center top if i place it center center it will be appearing right here at the center position and basically now to show this it's very easy we will show the error message this is a error alert message so now if you hit that button guys right here at the center of the screen you will see uh, alongside with the icon as well this is an error alert message you will see that cross icon so similarly we can also show this success message so basically we need to pass the options basically we can move this inside here in the function itself and basically here we can say a position this time will be x will be in the right direction and y will be at the top so it will be appearing in top right position so if you refresh it now at the top right position it the toast message will appear here you now see so you can see top right corner but this will appear right here at the center so depending upon your application you can customize this position attribute guys if you want to show it in the top left corner you will see it will now display top left if you want to say uh, center left you can customize this this would be in center left so any position you can take guys it is totally dependent upon you which position you want to manipulate it center right so all the nine position are supported all the sorry we yeah, are nine positions so this is the basic of that and you can even create a custom button guys custom to alert message if you don't like the basic styling of this you can even create your own custom toast message if by providing custom css so here we can put on click here and here we can simply say custom toast and basically here you can declare a variable so a custom toast uh, function and basically here we can have a new reference here notify new notify and basically guys this take some options guys so first of all we will put the position so again it will be there in the uh, top right corner of the screen and then there is the second of attribute guys which is equal to the background so now to providing the background there we need to provide a types 
object so types object will be an array and it contains an object called as first of all it is equal to type so here you can give type to custom anything and then it we have the background properties so here you can change the background let's suppose to black and you can even change the text color i think no. background is you can even provide an icon as well guys if you want to provide an icon you can even provide an icon so now if you see guys so in order to open this custom we will use the open method which provided by this library so open so basically here we will put an object type we will be providing the same type that we mentioned inside so type will be here custom so put a comma and then you will provide your message so basically you will say this is a custom alert toast notification so now if you see guys so custom toast if you hit this now you will see it will have a black background means now see it's a custom alert toast notification you can even include html here basically if you want to make it bold here you can even make it bold just include the html tags here like this this is very easy now you can see it will be bolded using this bold tag you can include as many html tags as you want basically in order to send out any sort of email notification like that so this is a way by which you can create your own custom toast notification using this library guys and i think these are all the options that are supported by this library if you are having any sort of doubt you can ask in the comment section and one other property guys it is supported guys which is the duration property how many seconds you want that notification to display so let's suppose i provide here 5000 millisecond so this is approximately equal or equal to 5 seconds because 1000 millisecond is equal to 1 second so basically if i press this button it will display it for 5 seconds and then automatically it will go away and then there is an option guys if you want to display a cross icon in the there is a property called the dismissible so default value i think is false but you can even change it to true so if you change it to true you will have a cross icon which will be available if you click this icon the notification will will go away you will now see the this is a black icon you will also apply these properties guys to the basic post notifications inside your position put the duration property this will let's suppose 2000 millisecond and dismissible to true so now if you hit the basic ones you will now again see a this cross button are also you can now see cross button it will exactly appear for 2 2 seconds and then it will automatically go away so these are all the options guys which is supported by this library i think it's a very awesome note toast notification library which is available for react js javascript or angular any framework you can use this library if you are watching it for the very first time then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and lastly you can even use it inside basic javascript you don't need to be having any framework just create index.html file and basically it provides a cdn and basically all the cdns simply you need to copy this code i have given this code in the description of this video so in my blog post basically it contains this cdn which for the css and the javascript and now inside the javascript in order to show something we will basically first of all initialize the basic reference notify is equal to notify and basically now to show a error message we will say that the success this is a success message now to show the error message we will say error method so this is the error message that's it so you can even use it inside vanilla javascript in by inside the browser so if you open this inside your local server basically you can now see it by default it will be showing it in the bottom right corner of the screen so you can even manipulate this if you want to change the position you can change the position as position x will be around x will be around uh, right and the y will be around 
top so it will be now be showing in the top right position guys you can now see as you load the page you can now see top right position so in this way guys you can do it this use this library it's a very awesome library please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well if you're watching it for the very first time and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial until then thank you very much i will make that video compression api don't worry about it